This is the most minimal, modern home we have ever designed. Our client, he has very specific taste and I love that that helped push us in a direction that we have never designed before. Last time we shared the entry, great room, dining, and kitchen in our Swan Lake project, but now we're going to move on to the bonus room. Behind that massive stone fireplace, the stone carries around into a space that's created for lounging and playing pool. Although the style throughout the home is very minimal, as we have mentioned, we made it a little bit more casual in here. We did three tones on the built-in and went through several iterations of how the white, the wood, and the black would all lay out, but I love how it's interesting and still sleek. We incorporated this gray, cozy, patterned rug, and then uh, had a custom pool table made, and this great linear light that hangs above it. One of my favorite details in the space is this built-in seating area. We had a long stretch of wall, and we had already done a built-in for the TV. We had already placed art in a couple of places, so we needed to figure out what to do with this space. On the architectural plans, it had the cabinetry just floor to ceiling carrying the whole wall, but we decided to play with it a little bit and open it up like a window seat, but without the window. And we had a custom cushion made on the seat and the back, so it would sit more like a sofa. And I think it's a great space for people to just hang out and chat while people are playing pool. We don't use sectionals very often, but occasionally there will be a casual space that is just made for a sectional, and this was it. A few tips, they can be kind of tricky because they're large and bulky, and it is the worst thing when you walk into a space and you have this massive sectional, or sometimes people get them too small and they're just floating in the middle of the room. So my advice would be to tape it out. That's what we did with this one. So we taped it out on the floor and with the sectional because they're so heavy into one corner, it's nice to balance them out with a chair opposite or two chairs, create a conversation area. The other tip is when you're selecting an ottoman or a coffee table, make sure it fits within that cozy corner of the sectional and doesn't hang over the edge. Once you walk through the bonus room, there is a kind of hallway area where there is a kitchenette for the gym. Everything is stylish, even our clients boxed water. In these videos, the gym equipment wasn't installed, but you can see the incredible views. In the powder bathroom, we did this dark stacked tile. We kept it very linear and it has this almost kind of reactive glaze to it, which gives it a really nice texture. And then you can see that we really played with scale and proportion on this floating vanity. We did the wood base and a massive marble top and then put the vessel sink on top. I think that even though the color palette is very pared down, it's the attention to the details that keeps it interesting. We carried that same style of stacked tile into the laundry room, but did it in a fresher white color palette and then carried the tone from the kitchen cabinets into here as well. We went blacked out in the mudroom and I am really excited about how it came out. We did a vertical paneling on the back and incorporated these wood hooks and you can see on the drawer notches below that we incorporated that wood detail as well. In 
the master bedroom, we knew that our client wanted a steel fireplace and that a black, white, and walnut color palette was where we were going. We really played with modern details that we've never gotten to play with before and that is what is so exciting to me about this space. We have never done a full built-in headboard like this before and I was really excited to play with this detail. So we had a custom walnut piece go all the way across the back and then the nightstands are actually floating but attached to that back walnut piece. And then on top of it, we had a custom upholstered headboard attached so that it still feels cozy. We had a lot of room at the foot of the bed, so we actually put a deeper bench than usual. Again, incorporating those black steel details on the bars hanging over and then on the really cool light fixture and then tying that in to the fireplace. The artwork was something we went back and forth with quite a bit. I came across this artwork that was of the beach taken at night and I thought it was perfect and then the scale was massive, perfect for above that low headboard height and I think that that was just icing on the cake of this headboard wall. We have a lot of room at the foot of the bed, as I mentioned, and we have this great textural rug with a kind of Moroccan-inspired pattern. And then we even have room for a large chair, a task lamp, there's a great moment in the corner. But then we have to balance the other side of the fireplace. And at one point, our client said that he wanted to incorporate this black surfboard somewhere. And then we realized that this was the perfect spot for it because the steel and the black surfboard played off of each other in a really cool way. Moving on to the bathroom. I love the way this space feels because the windows are huge and you feel like you're in the trees. That light just comes in and bounces off all of the light tones that we have. We have a light wood and we've kind of mixed the horizontal and vertical grains on the cabinetry. Kept a flat panel, incorporated a lot of marble, but a marble with a lot of white so that we kept it very calm. When you walk into the bathroom, the tub is where your eye goes. It is this really great sleek shape and we had this blank wall over to the left and we didn't really know what to do with it because it didn't feel like art was the right thing. So we did vertical paneling in the same tone as the cabinetry and I just think it adds a little bit of warmth, a little bit of detail, but it still feels very sleek in here. This stretch of cabinetry is really long. Often we have a long stretch of cabinetry, we'll do two vanities and then the um, sit down, like makeup vanity in the middle, but we had more space than that. So we decided to do a built-in linen closet and then have the sit down vanity there and then carry the long stretch of sinks on the opposite side. have one more webisode to show off our Swan Lake project and if you haven't seen the first one go check it out. There are even more spaces than we shared in this video so make sure you head to the blog to see them all. Mm -hmm.